Take two. Hi guys, it's Stacy and Chris. And today we're here to talk a little bit about our background. We want to tell you why we started with the Bottom Limits and why it's so important to us. I was in a work accident in October 3rd, 2004 at Custom Windows. It was a window factory. It was a wooden pallet, big burlap sack material. They were stacked in rows of two. I hit them with the forklift. I went to seal up the hole in the bag. And the weight shifted in the bag, which was between 1,500 and 2,000 pounds. It landed on my back and kind of rolled onto my leg. It left me medically an incomplete paraplegic. I spent seven and a half months in an inpatient rehab, and I rehabbed for five years. And it was a long road, a long journey. I learned a lot. I've been through a lot. And in, in that process, I met Christina. So my story is a little less exciting, but um, basically the gist of it is when I was about 19, I started having some symptoms that were a little, I guess, alarming. Um, I had pain in my spine, so kind of in between my shoulder blades, I'd get this stabbing, almost like a knife was in my back, and I couldn't get relief. And it became pretty constant, and over time, I developed some more symptoms, and I started doing some research, <clears throat> kind of on my own. And then I found a PCP that was a little more open-minded, maybe forward-thinking at the time. And she suggested that she thought maybe I had fibromyalgia. So fibromyalgia, if you don't know, has a pretty wide, broad spectrum of um, possible symptoms that are categorized within it. And, you know, everybody experiences a little bit differently. But for me, it's just been a lot of um, pain, a lot of muscular stuff. My muscles don't seem to react quite like maybe a normal person, per se. And I spent a lot of years trying just about everything. Um, medically, I was at a point where I was on 13 medications every day. I've had point, I had one point where I was in bed pretty much all day long. I just got up to take care of my kid and that was about it. Um, and then what af shortly after that, I kind of just sort of woke up one day like there's got to be a better option, right? Um, did more research, started trying things. There's been literally almost 20 years of trial and error and but today I'm on one medication I work out five or six days a week and I'm at what I would consider the best I've been right so um, all those experiences really are why we wanted to just share those things with you the positives the negatives the things we've been through we feel like we have a lot that people can relate to um, we met right after her accident shortly after we connected really really quickly and, and we, it was it was an instant connection. We mm -hmm. bonded instantly. Yeah, and what we found is is that not only did we have some physical similarities, I guess, challenges, but we also had similar life similar life experiences. So we both lost our fathers at a very young age. We both had kind of a blended family. Our mothers both had a second set of kids. And so we just had so many, there were so many levels that we related on and we've for probably what, 18 years now, we have just relied on each other for- We've been support, support for each other. Yeah, absolutely. And again, we realized there really isn't much out there outside of that, right? Um, That's where this idea came from. I, it's been about 14 years I've tossed and turned with this idea, wanting to reach out to people. Because in, in my journey, I, couldn't find anything shy of reaching out for own per, my own personal personal counseling that I've gotten on my own. There's nothing out there. There was nothing. There weren't support groups. There was nobody to reach out to. There was nobody to talk to. And for a long time, I felt very alone. And when I met Christina and just her having a condition, her having a condition, it was somebody that just could relate to me. And I needed that. I needed that. Yeah, and so even though we don't have exactly the same things going on, you know, we can call each other and cry when it's raining and we hurt that day, you know, or when something happens and it's traumatic, right? And it hasn't all been bad. We have had, we've learned a lot of wonderful things too in this journey, a lot that we want to share with you. Absolutely, absolutely. Our yeah. spiritual journey, our physical journey, our mental journey, all of it. Yep. So we are going to be very entertaining, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to let you know that. Yeah. We want to just share it all with you, and we want you to be able to have that place to come to. And with people. no judgment, no anything, because we're going to be completely honest with you guys. So, uh, 
Don't no, judge us. So. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So um, we're excited to share this time with you. We hope that helps to just know a little bit about us. And I guess that's about it for today. That's so it, guys. See you next time. Bye.